How to deal when your partner has a lower sex drive than you Want to know what to do if your partner is less motivated than you are? Well, watch on. As always, the internet can help. Many women take to Reddit to share personal anecdotes advice and tips for dealing with a partner with low libido. But first, let me make one thing clear. It's perfectly normal and okay to have a stronger libido than your partner. If you believe traditional heteronormative stereotypes, you'd think women would get a headache every time their perpetually horny significant other gave them an old wink. But like many conventional ideas about sex, it doesn't. Although sexual desires can be conflicting in relationships, it is not uncommon for women to have stronger libidos than their male partners. Given the aforementioned cultural norms regarding gender and sexual desire, women really struggle with being consistently rejected, often in a more personal way. So, without further. Here's what women on Reddit had to say about what to do if your partner has a lower libido than you. Find out how it makes you feel. Constant rejection is soul-stirring and discussions rarely yield results. It hurts the same every time. Now we are married and we were compatible at first, but after I got pregnant he lost interest and never regained it. I'm still trying to find a way to deal with it. Tell us about it. Let's have a conversation first. When I said that, I didn't want to do it unless I felt like I could give it 100%, and I didn't want to do it halfway if I was tired after work. I also learned that no is not no. I reject you and I don't like you literally translated, it means I'm tired. I can give you more attention and energy on the weekends. We do this two to three times a week, mostly on weekends when both are free, but occasionally on weekdays. I don't lie but I know he's coming over the weekend, so I'm happy to take it. Masturbation please do not take masturbation personally. Get a good toy. Toys are my solution. They often help. But even if it's not frustrating per se and you don't know why, everyone is different experiment, be patient, or find an alternative. It depends. Open communication is important. I had the same libido as my boyfriend when we were dating but it fluctuated over the years. I am currently on birth control to suppress my libido. We are considering changing it, but it will take time. My boyfriend understands that and I work hard to make him aware of his wants and needs as much as mine. Working things out together. My boyfriend has a low libido and it is because of self-esteem issues that are affecting his life. He loves sex and just wants to make it work. I'm interested. Maybe once a week we have sex one to two times every two to three weeks it affects my self-esteem and thinks he doesn't want to have sex with me and finds me attractive I don't think so so we talk about it. A dominant person in every way but not so dominant when it comes to sex for fear of not pleasing me not at all. He told me it might help to have me more dominant when I start. It gives him the feeling that I want to have sex with him and helps him overcome his anxiety. It's an awkward situation, but I love him and it's by no means a reason for incompatibility. We're working on it together. Find other ways to connect. He was always lower than me because of the drugs, but he put in a lot of effort to commit and we always had good sex. Then he got the meds and had the facial implants so we are pretty much on the same level. We try to maintain intimacy in other ways, lots of touch, hugs, words of affirmation and work together to have sex when we both feel it. It's a pity that there is no momentum, but I've never been happier with my partner. My husband's libido was lower than mine, but we're still compatible. Now that we've had kids, it's reversed but we are compatible. Things change over time. Contracts I have learned not to take it personally and have spoken a lot about my needs and preferences. Are you excited? I ask when he didn't seem to respond to my advances. 
Sometimes yes, other times it takes more work on my part to get him on board. Also masturbate. In my eyes, quality over quantity should not be expected to change. It's like waiting for a child when you don't want a partner. I can't help myself. If you break the deal, you have to do what is right for you in your situation. If you are not happy with the status quo, don't expect someone to change. Find someone who matches your libido and better. I couldn't stand constant rejection. I felt really unattractive, creepy, and terribly spoiled for wanting my partner to touch me. Maybe some people are better at handling stuff like this. I am not one of them. I looked it up a few years ago. Honestly, I left him. There were other issues, but it took a huge toll on my self-esteem, especially since we used to have sex regularly. I didn't provide a rationale. I was always just tired or not feeling well. These are good reasons not to have sex, but it was beyond me when sex was off the table and I felt guilty for even trying to initiate it. Had we been together longer, I might have been able to put up with it, but I'm 19 and it wasn't worth it. 